Good morning. Welcome back, YouTube friends and family. Today's vlog, we're going to talk about my green stalk, and I call it mine. Originally, it was purchased by my wife, but after she passed, I've decided to raise strawberries in it instead of flowers. I'm just a vegetable grower. I, I love flowers, don't get me wrong, but most everything on the deck now is, is vegetable plants other than a few green hanging ferns, things of that nature. I just like that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna tell you what type of strawberry I've decided to put in these and why. So I hope you'll take time and really enjoy today's vlog. One of my upcoming projects is to take this green stalk. This is what my wife raised her impatience and other uh, annual flowers in and if you'll remember I grew some lettuce in it last fall after the season was over But I'm going to take and put some strawberries in it The strawberries I'm intending to put in it are these ruby ends and the ruby ends Should have been set out much earlier, but as you can tell they're already in bloom Unfortunately, I'll have to take and clip these blooms off But these little things are absolutely covered and blooms and berries. They actually started blooming in March and I kept expecting the berries to freeze back, but they never did. So I'll pinch them off. We'll let them get a fresh start in the green stalk. Once these plants get well established, they won't be so droopy, but it was a shock to their system for me to tear them apart because if you've never raised ruby end strawberries, ruby end strawberries are actually uh, a strawberry that was developed to grow in pots. It's one of the few strawberries I've ever raised that continues to bloom while it's setting fruit. It just produces a great supply of strawberries. All right, yesterday I did get the strawberry plants finally put it in the pot. And yes, Lucy always has to inspect everything. They're a little bit droopy this morning. So I'm gonna roll this thing back up in underneath the pavilion and give it some shade. I just feel like it will be better for the plants if I have a little shade on them. Okay, now we have our plants here under the shade. I don't want them to be stressed any more than need be, and I'm only gonna keep them under the shade here of the pavilion for possibly a day or two, just until they actually perk up. Now, once they perked up, they'll go back out into the sun, and I will have to keep everything well watered. But as I said, I know I damaged the roots when I was transplanting them. Lucy, did I do a good job on them? All right, this is going to show you why it's important to separate strawberries. I put this strawberry in here last year towards the end of the year, and I did the same with this one. This one has had a lot more berries on it than what you're seeing here now, but the chipmunks were eating them. So I moved it up on this table, which made it a little bit more difficult. So by this afternoon, this one should hopefully be ready to pick. I know it looks ripe, but when they get dark red, they're, they're much better. And this shows you what happens when, when you don't separate them. Look at all the little plants in here. I mean, there's just lots and lots of little plants. But this one wasn't separated last year and it's not blooming well, and it's not doing good. It needs to be divided. Strawberries have to be divided, and you can't just let them stay and get too crowded. They'll stop bearing. It's now June the 28th, and the strawberries continue to bloom and bear fruit. I just love the way these things come out and hang down over the pot. Makes it so much easier to, to pick. Now up here on the top, they're not having to reach for the sun. And yes, I have Japanese beetle damage. 
but I'm getting ready to pick those two there off and they're going to go right here in this bottle of soapy water. I do not want those things reproducing on my property.